across historical newspapers, um, pretty good, but um, some interesting work's been done. Collie, in fact, has worked on this and done a very interesting article, a colleague based at ANU, and, and she and her um, technology researchers uh, found that it varied, I think, between like 70 and 90% success, depending on the nature of the original image and so on. And we find this in our own research. We use OCR to a certain level, and then if we can't find what we want, we might know that, for example, uh, a particular person appeared in court on a, in a certain month, and the OCR search on the digitised newspaper hasn't thrown up the name of the person, so we have to go in, we know roughly when the court was held, we go and look at newspapers around that day, find the report of the court proceedings, and then manually search it. Um, as OCR improves, then we expect that those um, uh, appearances will become much more recognisable generally by the computer. But it's very high really for all intents and purposes and much better than uh, sitting in front of a microfilm reader for three months. <laughs>